and we can actually cut by keeping the spindle stationary and actually moving the part in and out of the actual cut zone. So it helps with harmonics, those sort of things. And I don't see any of those kind of capabilities on any other piece of equipment in the world. Hello my friends, welcome back to MTD CNC. We always appreciate you showing up and we have an incredible story here for you today with my buddy Chad at b, &B Air Parts on these molding machines, a company that started in the early 90s and has expanded since then to over 120,000 square feet with possible expansion of another 100,000 plus square feet in the near future. I mean, this is a massive story and one I'm really excited to share with you from the viewpoint of the successes that Modig has helped B&B Air Parts acquire since working with that team there. So you are the expert, my friend. You know what's going on here. 11 years working with B&B Air Parts and you've seen the growth of what Modig has done for you. Can we talk a little bit about what Modig has done here at B&B Air Parts? Yeah, sure. Well, thanks for thanks for having us, Tony. Uh, we definitely appreciate it. Uh, B&B Air Parts was a was a pretty simple machine shop starting out. Um, cut their teeth on sheet metal parts, grew into three axis, five axis parts. Uh, we got to a point where we decided that we needed to grow, and we needed to grow in size of the uh, of the parts that we make. Uh, and able to do that, we had to go with different platforms. Uh, we have three primary platforms that we have here in our facility. One of those platforms is Modig. Um, we had we had issues with uh, with the actual parts and how to make them. We wanted longer parts like stringers. Aerospace has a tremendous amount of stringers, so that's what we started cutting our teeth on. Modig was one of the options that we had to go with uh, after we talked about it for quite some time with our leadership team. Uh, it just made sense because of the uh, the ability that the machine has, the versatility, the quick changeover. It just made perfect sense for us to go with the Modig brand. So we're standing in front of the Modig HHV3, and you have six of these. There are some unique attributes that go along with these machines, right? When we think about how would we have a standard of machining, most people watching right now uh, go, okay, well, I have a, a work holding, and I have my part, and I'm going to cut my part, and whether I'm doing it three axis or three plus two or five axis, there's some sort of configuration. But when we think of the stringers, these are long parts that you can run 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet in one machine. Can we talk about the unique attributes of this HHV3? Yeah, absolutely. We have one of our HHVs that's able to handle a 33 foot long part or piece of material. Um, stringers can get up to that length and actually longer. Uh, that's where we actually cut it off at. Um, we do have parts that are in the 20 foot range. So the nice thing about that is there's not any changeover. You feed the material into the actual machine and really you hit the go button. I mean, it's, it's simple setups. Uh, the jaws are simple. Uh, we make a lot of our jaws internally. I, as far as the machine itself goes, it's just nice to be able to, uh, to, to get all the sides in the material so you don't have multiple setups, you don't have multiple chances for error, those sort of things. So for us, it just makes perfect sense. We do everything from little one inch clips clear up to 20 foot long stringers. So very universal. For the people watching right now, I always like to clarify, this is second nature to the professional. This young man here has been doing that for a while. So when he talks about how these molding machines work, sometimes it goes a little bit beyond what some of our knowledge is, right? And what we are talking about here is, now imagine a bar feed system. Imagine a long piece of material that no longer needs to be cut individually and then put into a workpiece. These molding machines, feed continuously and can move back and forth in order to cut from that one 30 foot piece. Yep. And this is, because you've had these a while, sometimes we talk about it as this everyone knows about it, but we're still learning about the expertise of what Modig brings to this industry, being the only Norwegian machine maker in the entire world. What kind of, we know that we can now cut on one piece of material up to 30 feet, around 30 feet, above 30 feet. What kind of cycle time savings, what kind of tool life savings, any of this that goes along with this unique machining style have you seen here at b, &B Air Parts? We've seen quite a bit of, uh, of decrease in cycle time by running those parts here. Uh, we have, I think, a little over 200 parts that we program for these platforms alone. And those are just simple, even 3X parts. We're finding the unattended time, the parts catching, it'll count the parts, it drops the parts, you don't have to stop the machine to pull the parts out. Uh, it's very similar to a lathe in the action that the actual bar feeder does. So the nice thing about that is 
is the tolerancing. You know, we can do multiple poles with the jaw system that we have. We can lighten the, the jaw pressure in our second set, and we can actually cut by keeping the spindle stationary and actually moving the part in and out of the actual cut zone. So helps with harmonics, those sort of things. And I don't see any of those kind of capabilities on any other piece of equipment in the world. Yeah, all valuable points as well. And for those of you watching right now, I did ask Chad off camera, how do you feel about sharing this wisdom and technology with the world? Because uniquely, you're one of the aerospace companies that are utilizing this type of expertise. How do you feel about you know, showing this to the world? He looks at me directly and says, look, we're bringing in local companies to show them. If they want to invest in what's going on, we can't worry about that as a company. And me personally, I value that coming from you, Chad. I value that coming from B&B Air Parts. This is the confidence that we need in our industry to go, look, manufacturing is important. Here's what we're doing. If you want to make the investment here, you can do it as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the invest it's not like buying, you know, a $200,000 machine. It's definitely not that. So it's not for everybody, but you know, when you look at the owner of our company, Dan Bernard, you know, say back in the early 90s, you know, he was he was struggling to buy a press break, you know, and now here we are buying, you know, million dollar pieces of equipment. But the nice thing about this is, is since Modig has spent such an amount of time in letting people know that we have this equipment and Hartwig has done the same thing, we get quotes all the time. You know, we've got we've got people that are asking, hey, can you do these parts? What's your cycle time? You know, what are those things? But for us, you know, this is a community. Wichita, you know, they call it the air capital of the world. There's several machine shops here. And unfortunately, there's not very many independent machine shops anymore. Uh, most of them have been bought up, you know, by other larger companies. Uh, we're definitely independently owned. Um, and Dan has given us the opportunity to grow this company. You know, we decide as a management team to do that. But we feel much more comfortable in doing that when we have the backing of Hartwig and we have the backing of Modig service and support we cannot say it enough can we i mean it really is the backbone of investing in long-term relationships is that service and support you've done it here you've done it with modig and to your point about dan as well you can't start out in a garage in the early 90s and jump to over 100,000 square feet just a few decades later without believing in yourself believing in your people and having those partnerships this is how it all comes full circle isn't it yeah we have a great team i mean our sales department we realized that we were missing out on so many opportunities and they drove and they drove and they drove us to try to get this bigger equipment and this and these larger capabilities and we had enough opportunity that we we'd seen coming in that we didn't want to lose out on that and we wanted to be able to grow as a company as well so you know hats off to our you know our, our quoting department they do a wonderful job uh, our our actual sales guy does a wonderful job he gets those things to us that fit our platform that help us grow our company and that's what we're doing 100% agree. So now that the people out there are watching and learning more about B&B Air Parts, how can they find out more about you? How can they get in contact with you? Maybe an email or a website, some generic database where they can send their resume, something that helps them find you. Yeah, just go to uh, bnbairparts.com. Um, it's in Wichita, Kansas. I have a big airplane on the front of it. You can go in there. You can apply for jobs, see what jobs are available there. Um, you can also, there's an email there that you can contact. That'll go into Human Resources. And they disperse that to whoever's, you know, needs to be looking at those emails so so we do have a way to do that you're more than welcome if you're in town come up front you know we'll talk to you right there we've had we've had job fairs we've hired people on the spot um, those people have actually worked out really well so we're not we're not afraid to hire people that are that are definitely eager and willing to work so and with that being said I hope some of you reach out the one favor I ask of you it's to let them know that you saw this video at MTD CNC, let Chad know, and then maybe when Chad invites us back in, we'll interview you in front of one of these machines in the future. Uh, thank you all for watching. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Chad, thank you, my friend. Thanks again.